Hi there, I want to show you a really cool technique to do with your dies where you can cut them and put them back together in a different way to change completely the background to your card. So I'll introduce the dies we're using in today's video. First up we have the Auvergne from the French collection and we're going to be using the edge of this one and because they have been sized the same you can mix and match all the different elements from all the different sets. So the next one up is the Provence from the French collection. We're going to be using the outer insert piece on this one. And we have the burgundy set from the French collection. We're going to use the inside of this one just to show how pretty they look all mixed and matched together. And as a little bit of a finishing touch here from this range, we have the petite vinery. It's quite pretty. And I'm going to be using the inside section of the, um, the background from the Austrian collection to do my sentiment with. And just to bring back a favorite from our first uh, release of dies, I've got the classic rose. Okay, so those are the dies we'll be using for today's card. We're also going to be using an embossing folder, and I have the Celtic flower from the uh, A4 sized embossing folders from Creative Expressions. And one of the other items we're going to be using is the Sparkle Pigment set. Has some lovely colors in there. Okay, let's get started. So let me show you the card again real quickly so you can kind of follow along a little better. So I'm going to cut an aperture in the center of my milk card to begin with. So let's do that. And I've just cut a piece big enough here. And what I want to do is take one of the cutting rings from the Provence. I'm going to take the outside ring here for my aperture. And I'm going to tape it into place with some removable tape. Center it right about in the middle there and we're going to run it through. There's our cutting plate. Oop, get on there. And our base plate. Now it doesn't matter which direction these go through the machine, but you always want to have your cutting edges going into your cutting plate. And you hear the cracking. Anytime you have an open label shape, you'll hear that. It's perfectly normal, nothing to worry about. So I've got a piece cut out here. There's our aperture. Let me take an undo this so I can put it back onto my magnetic sheet so it doesn't get lost. And then you can use this piece for another card later on. Okay, set this piece aside. And now we're going to get the embossing folder and actually emboss the aperture part of this. So I've got the Celtic flower. And I'm just going to pop this right inside there. Put it onto my base plate and I'm going to cover it with the raspberry plate. That's the sandwich for any of the large A4 embossing folders. Give this a run through. And let's take this one out. There we go. So we've got a really lovely embossed outside piece to that, okay? Set these aside. Now one of the other things I'm going to do is I'm going to create a frame to go around that. So I've already cut a, um, just a, a, a label shape using the biggest frame from the Auvergne set. But because these mix and match and they're designed to layer up, I want to get a smaller layer out of this. So I'm going to put the cutting edge from the Provence back on top of that. And we're just going to tape it into place just so I get a nice tiny little edge here. Let me get that centered really evenly. And grab our plates again. And we're going to run that one through. Hear more of that cracking. Like I said, perfectly normal. Okay, so you can see I've got a really nice, fine little mat that we've cut from that. I'm going to pop this aside, and you can use that again later if you like. And let's just put this one back onto its magnetic sheet, and I'll show you what we're going to do. Because I wanted a frame that had a little bit of dimension to it, I am going to add some glue to the back of this, and I'm going to put it onto one I've already cut, just to give a little bit more detail. Be real sparing with that glue. It goes a long way. 
pop that around the edges. And I'm going to line this up just to go on top of this one already. And let me get it centered straight. There we go. So you've got a nice little detailed edge coming up on your frame here. And I've got a little bit of glue showing, but that'll dry nice and clear. And I've actually gone ahead and I've mounted one ahead of time with some mounting foam on it. So we're going to use that, but I'm going to skip ahead a little bit and we're going to do some dies first. So I've cut the Auvergne outside edge with the Provence inside. I've actually embossed the middle cutting ring in there and I've cut out the burgundy out of the center there. Okay, so I'm going to put some glue on the back and I'm going to attach it so it has a black mat coming all the way through. And just because that one in the center is cut out, it's not a problem. What we're going to do is reinsert that because you can easily do that. I'll pop that back on top. Just like that. Give it a second to hold and we'll put a little glue on this one. Put some in the middle and these have some finer lines so you have to just pick some of the larger little spots to dot your glue onto. Just making sure that you've got good coverage all over the piece so it sticks down nicely. And let's try that. And if you've got any pieces that are what I'd say like a, a, a large bit of glue, just do a little bit of wiping on it. That way it won't go smushing everywhere. That should work. And we're going to reinsert this one right into the center of that. And like I said, the glue will dry perfectly clear, so that's not a problem. So now I've got a beautiful die. Now if I wanted to, I could just insert this into my background and be fine, but we want to do something different. So we're going to take and we're going to just cut this right down the center. So find the center of your die. That looks about right. And cut it right down the middle. So what you can do is line this up so you've got this side going here and this side going here to completely change the way that looks, okay? And what I've done is I've gone ahead and put it into place so you don't have to watch me fiddle around making sure it's straight and whatnot. But you can see how you get a completely different look this way. It changes the whole orientation of your card. So I'm going to go ahead and put this onto my background piece with some double-sided tape. And then we'll add our pretty frame we made. I just think it's really nice to be able to use your dies in a way that isn't always exactly what you expect them to look like. And if you take your dies, trim them and turn them and move them around, you'd be surprised how many lovely shapes you can get from them. And it's all about versatility when you have dies. So now, like I said, I've added some mounting foam to the back of this. I'm going to go ahead and peel off the backing. And it's just wide enough that you can have small strips of foam on here, which is really nice. And a few more. Let's get them all so it's nice and secure. Pop that right over the thing. And I'm going to have to look into the shot a little bit just to make sure I'm straight there. I apologize. There we go. Get that on there. So you can see where we're building that up. So now you've got a really pretty frame around your edge. We're going to add our sentiment now. I've already gone ahead and stamped this. And I'm going to use the center of the background from the Austrian collection. It's got a removable uh, oval in the middle. It's lovely. And we'll tape this into place just around our sentiment. That looks pretty straight. Tape it into place. I am a big proponent of taping the dies down so they don't move. And we'll run this one through. Give it a quick cut. In fact, we can probably just go straight over and back. I think I went far enough. Yes, certainly did. Now you can emboss this if you like to, and I always recommend doing that. But but just to show you something else you can do is I am going to add a little bit of bling to it. So with some perfect medium here, a piece of cut and dry foam, I'm just going to ink this up and I'm just going to go around this edge, transferring some of this sticky embossing ink to the inside of my die cut. Just like that. And with a little brush, I'm going to add tiny bit of this 
gorgeous sparkle pigment to it. It's very subtle, but it's so pretty when you see it on a card. It's one of those nice, um, really finishing touches that you can add to your cards that make them look really rich and elegant. There we go. Give it a good dust, and you can wipe it off of your, um, your dye with it, just a, a wet tissue. Let's pop this out, show you how pretty this looks. Put that back. So you've got that gorgeous shimmer coming from that with the pretty edge that's been pierced already. Okay. So I'm going to add a little bit of mounting foam because I want to raise that for some dimension. And we'll bring this back and put it right in the center. That looks really nice. And just add a little bit of embellishment to our card. I have already gone ahead and cut two of these petite vinery. They are absolutely stunning, I think. So I'm going to add them with a little bit of glue. Just put some of the Cosmic Shimmer glue here. Let me get them both. And we'll do one sort of upwards and one kind of going the other direction across the card. About like that. You can move them around once you get them into place, not a problem. And I'm going to add some of the gold tool, and I like to put this on with a glue dot. And I'm going to just center that right there. Spread it out a tiny bit. I think it's just such a nice little accent. Because you can see through it, it does allow your, your binary to show up. So it's really pretty like that. And I've gone ahead and made a couple of the flowers using the classic rose. And I've showed this technique on many videos, so it's very easy to find me uh, doing these already. And I've gone ahead and done what I call sugaring by adding the, um, the glue and then putting ice snow on them and letting it dry. It's really pretty. And a little teeny bit of um, black jute is what I need. And there we go. Add that with a glue dot on top. Makes a nice little accent underneath everything too. Pop that into place and we'll kind of spread those loops out. And put our finishing flowers on. And I like to let these dry really well before I put them onto a card. And they're nice and firm once you've done that. And you can just sort of arrange that in any shape you want there and have it showing. But I think that is really, really pretty. And there you have it. I've gone around the edge with the ivory um, Cosmic Shimmer PVA glue dots and created a really pretty frame for that. But I just think that's a stunning card. So easy. And I really like the way that it's something different with your die cuts. It will amaze anybody that you send this to, I think. Hope you've enjoyed the video today.